Let's add a custom 3D block model to our Minecraft mod. More in-depth topics for Minecraft modding available in the 121 modding courses linked below, covering writable and tameable entities, custom entity armor, and even custom entity inventories, among many more awesome topics. Alright, we're back in Taylor once more, and in this tutorial, we're gonna be adding a custom 3D block model to our Minecraft mod. So while I said last tutorial that we're gonna add a trailer to this tutorial, well, I mean, I didn't quite, you know, it was kind of the truth because because the custom block model is going to be a model of a chair. And yes, the functionality will be added in the next tutorial. But right now, we're just going to, you know, have to get the freaking thing into the game like this so that we have a custom 3D block model here. And to do this, of course, we're going to need Blockbench. I will have the Blockbench file available for download as well as, of course, all of the rest and everything linked down below, GitHub repository and all of that craziness. So you can double check everything. Uh, when we have this particular block over here, open in Blockbench, we want to go to File and then Export and then Export Block slash Item Model. This is going to generate a file called chair.json. That is absolutely right. We're going to save that. And then we also need the texture. So in the texture here on the left, we want to right click, save as, and that's going to be the chair.png. And those are the only two things that we're going to need. And we can then proceed inside of IntelliJ. Now in IntelliJ, we're going to need a custom block class over here in this case. And the reason for this is if you look at this particular block over here, uh, it has a, a specific direction, right? So this always points to the north. And if we were to just make a normal block with this particular block model, then what would happen is that regardless of uh, how we set it down in the world, it will always point in this direction, but not depending on where the player looks, but depending on the world. So every chair would always face the same direction, which would of course be kind of very strange. So what we need to do is we need to change that facing depending on how the player is looking at that particular moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to do tutorial mod block custom. And here we're going to make the chair block class. This will extends from the horizontal facing block. Very straightforward here in this case. We're going to hover over this to implement the get codec method. We're going to hover over this again, create constructor matching super, where we need to change this to public. And then we're going to start doing some stuff. The first thing is to make the codec that is very straightforward. This is just a public static final map codec of type chair block. It's going to call, be called codec equal to the create codec method, passing in chair block colon colon new. And then we can return this over here. There we have it. That's going to be fine. And that's all we need in this case. The other two methods that we need to override is the get placement state method, as well as the append properties method. Starting with the append properties method, we want to call builder.add and then add the facing property that we're getting from the horizontal facing block right here, as you can see. And that one we want to add to the append properties method. When it comes to the get placement, this is where we define the initial placement when we actually place this down. That's going to be this that get default state that width. I'm going to set the facing property to CTX. So this is the context that get horizontal player facing that get opposite. And what's this going to do is uh, the following. It's going to make it so that when we set this chair down, the chair is always going to face us this way. So we're going to set it down and I'm going to rotate 90 degrees and it's still going to, then I've set down another one and then it's going to once again face me this way. So every time I face it down, the sitting place or the, you know, the sitting area is going to be facing me when I sit it down. And the idea of that is that th this way, the, the block itself actually rotates around or you know, depending on how we set it down. And that's the idea there. Um, that's actually everything we need in the chair class. So that's crazy enough. And we can actually register it now. Uh, the registration, of course, is going to be super freaking simple here in this case. It's simply a public static final block. It's going to be the chair equal to the register block method. It's going to be called chair with a new chair block as a class. And we're going to create the abstract block settings with a non-opaque here in this case, so that we can't see through the world. Two more things we need in the code. Number one, we want to add this to the creative mode tab, of course. That's going to be the chair right here. Chair, there we go. And we also want data gen. And we want to add this right here. This is super freaking simple, actually. Block state model generator dot register north default horizontal rotation mod blocks dot chair. Now, we can't run this yet because I'm pretty sure if we were to run this, this would also generate a block model JSON file, which we actually don't want. The block model JSON file we want to do manually, but it's then going to do both the item model as well as the block states JSON file, which we will actually take a look at in just a second. But with that, we have the code done. We can then move on to the translation over here just quickly. 
Obviously, this is just a chair, so nothing too crazy. And then when it comes to the model, well, we're going to do tutorial mod models. We're going to right click over here, new directory called block. And this is where we're going to copy over the JSON file that we have exported from Blockbench. So this is the Blockbench JSON file. And we also want to copy over the texture over here that's going to be under textures block. And that's the chair PNG. This is also the texture that we've exported from Blockbench. Now, having done this, we want to go back to the block model over here and change the texture because this is under tutorial mod colon block slash chair. Extremely important that you double check what you have in this texture over here and then it points to the correct well folder as well as the correct file because it's very easy when you just export it from Blockbench that there is a typo in here somewhere because you might have named the texture differently or something like that so always double check this that is basically going to be the number one cause if yes let's say your custom uh, block model doesn't have a texture right if, if it's black and pink or something like that then that would basically be the reason why with that being said, though, this is everything we're going to need for the time being. So let's go to data gen over here. Let this run through. And then I'm also going to show you the JSON file, the block state JSON file that it generates. And we'll actually be able to see what that does. There we see two JSON files written. And there it is, block state share. And you can see the variants here are basically just looking at the facing property and then saying, well, if it's facing not north, then we need to rotate it up around the y-axis a certain number of times. Obviously, east and west would be, you know, once, you know, 90 degrees, basically. And then in south, 180 degrees. So it is turned around 180 degrees. And that is actually everything we need for the time being. There's one more change we're going to do after we go into the game and actually look at it. And so I would say, let's jump into the game and see if it works. All right, fans, I'm back in Minecraft. As you can see, the chair has been successfully added to the game. And if I set it down, there we freaking go. And the great thing is, if I turn this way, you can see the, you know, the seating area is always facing me. Otherwise, if we wouldn't do this with the facing stuff, then what would happen is that every time I were to place it down, it would always face this way. So it doesn't matter, like, if I were to look at this way, it would, oh, every chair in the world would be facing north over here, which obviously would be very strange if you wanted to, you know, make a table over here, then obviously the chairs would need to have to, or they would need to rotate. Now, one thing you might notice here is that when I hover over the chair, the bounding box is a little big, right? Uh, that is definitely a little bit, well, not quite as optimized as we would want it to be. So let's change that with the voxel shape. Changing this is also super simple. Inside of our custom chair block class, we're going to make a private static final voxel shape over here. We're going to call this the shape. And this is going to be equal to block.create cuboid shape. This is going to be a minimum X of 3, then a 0.0, .0 then a 3.0, then a 13.0, then a 16.0, and then a 13.0 again. We then want to overwrite the get outline shape method. We can also just over, like, we can take a look at shape, and you can see there's quite a few ones, but we want to do the outline shape method, and that's going to be turning shape over here, and there we freaking go. Now, where do those numbers come from? Well, if I were to go back to my block model and I would look at it from the top, you can see that basically to reach this corner over here, we would go, you know, three down and three to this way, and then three over and like three this way. That would basically be, uh, you know, from one to three. So this is three, three, and then this would be 16. And then, then going, you know, minus three, minus three, it would get us to 30, right? 16 minus three is 13. And of course we want the maximum height of 16, and that is because, well, the uh, chair itself, the chair itself is actually taller than 16. Uh, so, you know, if we would want, if we would want to make it proper, it should actually look like this. But I, I just like this chair a little bit better. And I don't mind if it sticks out just a little bit uh, into the next block, because usually that it should not matter. But of course, when it comes to your own block model files, you can always play around with those, change those up however you would like. Uh, I'm just trying to show you one example of this. But with the different shape, let's jump into the game again and see if it works. All right, we're back in Minecraft. And if I hover over the block, you can see there it freaking is. It basically has, I mean, more or less the perfect voxel shape over here. Yes, it's not 100% perfect. But one of the things that is quite important is now that we have this, that you don't try to get the perfect voxel shape for this, especially not like uh, with each individual leg over here and with this, because this is like 0 0.2, 0 0.5. So those aren't 100% like even. And yes, you could put in 
multiple different blocks, multiple different cuboid shapes over here and combine them. However, one of the reasons you don't want to do this is because it is very draining on the resources to calculate collisions and things like that. Let's say even if you look at the lectern, which has a 45 degree angled surface, look at this, right? Even that one has sort of steps over here because it is not necessary to 100% do this and you can even see that the shape when you hover over it is even different than the collision shape the collision shape is even easier where you actually sort of are phasing through the actual block over here a little bit so i highly highly recommend never going in and trying to make a perfect voxel shape while you could do this right there are i think plugins or ways to export the the voxel shape from um from blockbench I don't recommend this in the slightest because it's going to slow down the game quite significantly if you have too many of those different models and that is basically never a good idea. But yeah, there you go. That is a custom block model added to Minecraft. Pretty awesome. And that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll also add a functionality to the chair so you can sit down on it. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.